Welcome, you beautiful people. Welcome to the Smiling Soul Retreats webinar, our information webinar. Um, so, yes, I'm just going to give us a minute or so, let everyone log on from wherever you are. Um, welcome today. Why don't I just start off with a question, what makes your soul smile? What have you done today that has made your soul smile? Uh, please share with me in the comment box there. Um, just myself, I tell you what, I've had some great, great time this week designing these slides with my team. Um, yeah, and what else can I... Oh, the flowers behind us. Don't you enjoy the uh, presentation? Um, I see some people are coming on here. Patricia, I have just finished my tax returns. Patricia, thank you. Thank you so much for the reminder. It's most certainly something that I need to do as well. Uh, Mike, just finished cutting my lawn. Mike, well done, champ. I must tell you, those are, uh, in terms of priorities, men sort of put that right on the end of their list, so I acknowledge you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Karen, just finished a yoga session. Fantastic, Karen. Well, welcome to our webinar. I want to share with you that uh, I will mention this in the webinar, but... Um, you know, we do most of the locations where we stay on this webinar, um, there's, there is yoga offered. So you have a lot of free time to do your yoga and all that type of stuff. So fantastic. I do yoga myself. It certainly makes my soul smile. So yes, um, I hope you're all having a beautiful day. I just want to share with you that this webinar is not just an information webinar, but there's a lot of, lot of deep getting teachings that I'm also going to share with you. So any of you that are going through a tough time right this moment, um, you are in the right place. You see how providence bends in your, in your favor because I am going to be covering some of the teachings on the webinar today. So welcome. Okay, so let's get cracking. The 11 day Bali Smiling Soul Retreat. With me, your host, Brett Shuttleworth. Um, what I love about a webinar is you get to know me and my personality as well, because at the end of the day, I'm going to be with you on this 11-day Bali retreat, and uh, we're going to be spending a lot of time together. So um, it's an honor and privilege for me to be on the webinar today. So let's get cracking. You can see the first visual of how gorgeous Bali is. Bali absolutely has taken my breath away. Um, and you will see that we have a lot of collage, a lot of beautiful pictures that are coming up. Um, and you are really going to get to feel what Bali is about. Besides um, all the hotels and, and where we go and the food and everything that I'm going to share with you. So just a couple of questions just to start off. Where are you from? Please share in the, in the chat box on the side. Um, and while you're here, I'm very interested to know really to get to know you guys as well on this webinar. What about these retreats captured your interest? So thank you, Tracy. I'm from Dublin. Welcome, Tracy. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Irish. Um, Peter from London. Welcome, Peter. Nice to see a lot of men on the webinar today. Fantastic. Sandy from San Diego. Sandy. I used to bar back in San Diego. I lived there for four years. Uh, one of my favorite cities in the world. Very, very, very cool. Let's see. Brett, I'm here. I have heartbreak. I need help. Will this retreat help? Most certainly. I want to share with you that it is a very common thing for people that are coming on this retreat that have either lost someone, that have had heartbreak, um, that are stuck in their purpose in life and so much, so much more. But I will be covering that on the retreat. I loved your presentation on your Facebook ads. The languaging speaks into me. Well, that's obviously what captured your interest. I always say that, um, you know, the universe is always conspiring with you to win. And when language like that attracts you and speaks into your heart, know that that is, that is a message from the universe. So you are in the exact right place uh, today and um, I welcome you. Remember what I shared later, I am going to share a little bit of teaching. So stay on those of you that are currently facing some challenges. All right. So thank you for sharing those questions. 
let's get cracking. Let's get stuck into the beautiful stuff on this webinar. Um, and uh, I want you to stay and get comfortable, put the kids away, get a pen and paper. This hour is for you. And I'm going to cover every single question that you might want to know about this retreat. Whether it's the right retreat for you, um, you will definitely, by the end of this webinar, know exactly whether this is the right thing for you. All right, I'm going to be biased and say, stick around. Because um, I'm very proud of this webinar. Our team have put something fantastic for you together. So let's get cracking. I want to start with my mission. My mission is to create a ripple effect of love across the world. You're going to find that um, throughout this webinar, I'm going to share with you in the beginning how I turned my mess into my message. And today, the answers that I've found is really what this webinar is about, what the teachings are about, what I discovered in life. And I'm going to share that with you. So my intention is to create this ripple effect of, 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 of love across the world by doing retreats and talks and coaching. And so... We will get into that a little bit later. I want you to know that you are in good company. I mean, we've, we've already completed 28 retreats. So we are, or we are gaining momentum. We are getting better and better and better. You know, um, we always strive for the best, best retreats. And so you can already see that this work has already been implemented. I teach corporates. Over 27,000 people have gone through this retreat, gone through these retreats. So they've been tested in every possible way. So you are in the right place. I'm going to share with you the, the, your questions answered on the, Bali, uh, on the Bali Smiling Soul Retreat. This is what this webinar is about. Um, <clears throat> you're going to see the beautiful collage. These are, these are pictures from our retreat. So please enjoy it. You'll see the beautiful activities. And, um, <clears throat> but here, let me cover what we're actually going to cover today. All right, number one, how the Bali retreats came about and why I created them, my journey. Number two, highlights of the Bali Smiling Soul Retreat package and why it rocks the benefits and outcomes for you. Questions I will be addressing and open for further discussion uh, at the end of this, um, of this webinar. I'm open for questions as well. Uh, please, even throughout the webinar, uh, please interact with me with questions. I'm more than willing. I'm more than wanting to answer your questions. So here's a couple of things that I am going to cover today. What is the purpose of the retreats? What do they stand for? And what is it that we facilitate on each retreat? Okay, another thing is, um, I'm not going to run through all of them because I am going to cover them. What has been the experience of the previous participants? This is always um, a must uh, that people love to see. Um, I'm considering another retreat along similar lines. What sets the Smiling Soul retreats apart from the rest? This is my secret. This is our secret. Um, I have a beautiful team. Uh, we have discovered something so magic. And as I shared with you, and I'm going to share with you, how the retreat covers spirituality, adventure, travel, and uh, so when, you, when you've left Bali, you can tell somebody, I've been from one end or the other to the other. It's not about us you know, staring at a rose in the cave and, and hoping that enlightenment will come there. I always say, why not have fun while you are having this consciousness shift, this consciousness breakthrough that will possibly change your life forever. Okay, so there's a couple of those questions. I am going to go through all of them. Uh, please stay on because you'll see number four, there's special offer exclusive to this webinar. All right, so you can't get this offer outside of this webinar. So I acknowledge you for being here. And then finally, another a webinar bonus that I know that you're going to be very, very happy about. All right, so <clears throat> make sure you stay to the end. The special offer exclusive to this webinar. I'm going to give you a bonus manifestation tool giveaway. Uh, after the special offer just for attending this webinar. Okay, so to stay on this webinar, right at the end, I'm going to gift you with one of the most incredible tools uh, that I have created. And um, it's, it's an honor and privilege for me to, to give this to you at the end of the retreat. So even if you don't even go on the retreat and you stay until the end, you are going to get an incredible, incredible gift. 
All right, so first I want to start with a poll, just so I can get you interactive. So as I said to you, I can connect with you. The first poll you'll see the options will pop up is, what is the main kind of challenge that you are currently experiencing in your life that a retreat could possibly resolve? All right, so as you see that popping up here, number one, relationship challenges. Number two, ability to attain goals. Number three, dealing with inner conflict, guilt, anger, regret. Number four, mental clutter, stress, anxiety. Finding balance and doing everything I want to do. Thank you. Yes, please just, you can tap there which one works for you. I'm going to give you some percentages that are coming up. Oh, I see that. Let's see here. Mental clutter, stress, and anxiety, 55%. That seems like the highest so long. Finding balance and doing everything I want to do, 35%. Thank you for this interaction. Fantastic. Ability to attain my goals, 17%. And relationship challenges at 26%. Fantastic. Thank you for um, interacting with our poll there. All right, so... Let's get cracking. So how did the Bali Smiling Soul Retreat come about and why did I create it? Where did you find that? I've been searching for it everywhere. Well, I created it myself. And ultimately, isn't it true that the ultimate success, success in life is being happy? And this is what this retreat is about. So about me, a little bit about me. <clears throat> I grew up in a small little town in Newcastle in South Africa, um, in the Drakensberg. I was one of those guys, I always laugh at my friends. Um, I got E for, for matric, E for enough. I just passed. But that wasn't because of a, a lack of effort. Most of my effort, however, was on the sports field. I, I, when I grew up, I was absolutely, I, I loved my rugby so much uh, and other sports. Um, I played five provincial sports at school, but rugby was the main one. And um, I, did, I did fairly well in rugby. I played provincial at school. Um, I then went on and played junior level for the Blue Bulls and then moved to Durban uh, in Natal, where um, I took my rugby career to another level on a junior and several, a senior level. I represented Natal. And uh, as I shared with you, <clears throat> something happened though. My whole dream of becoming, of turning my whole life's career into a professional rugby player was lit literally crushed. I had my arm broken just before the World Cup. Um, I was in America and um, I was uh, on, on my way to play for the U.S. Eagles uh, in the World Cup, and the last game before the World Cup, in injury time, I shattered my arm in 27 places. Um, I still have four metal plates, uh, four metal plates in my arm, 16 nuts and bolts. It was crushing for me. You can imagine I had nothing else to to um, fall back on, um, and my life, my big questioning in life, started with all of this. Another thing I want to share with you is that um, because I couldn't play rugby in America, I was getting deported. And so I ended up homeless uh, for months in Manhattan. I didn't have a student visa to stay there anymore. This was very challenging and yet one of the freest moments in my life. And uh, as I shared with you, um, at this stage, I was there was a lot of mess in my life. And um, if it weren't for this mess, I would never be able to teach what I do today on the retreat. So those of you that have had challenges in your life know that there I am again, that's me, homeless, walking the streets of Manhattan. Those of you that have had challenges in your life know that uh, my life is, hasn't been a bed of roses. And um, I see the gift in it, however, and uh, I hope that you see the gift in your adversity as well. Another turn of events that absolutely surprised me um, is that I got discovered as a model uh, in in the USA and uh, I had a very fruitful or successful um, modeling career um, I ended up being the first supermodel from Africa here you can see all the campaigns um, that I did abroad I traveled the world uh, 25 different countries 
doing modeling. Uh, you can see that I was voted South Africa's best or biggest male celebrity at the time. Uh, here are just a couple of highlights of my career. Um, it was a very, very fruitful modeling career and uh, just a couple of the covers that I've been on. And then another turn of events, um, uh, I decided to move to Hollywood and uh, dabble my hand in acting. And here I am, uh, those of you that might notice if you've watched American Part 2, <clears throat> here I am American Part 2, I played Tara Reid's boyfriend in the movie. Very exciting, it was amazing, um, amazing time. Um, sure can hear a couple of the chuckles there, it was a really funny movie. The blockbuster did exceptionally well. And yet, even with all of that, there was still something missing. And this is where the crux of my turning my mess into my message started. This is when I started evolving. This is when I started searching for, for answers. And uh, here I am. One morning I'd woken up. It wasn't just a lightning bolt moment where I decided to walk away. I was living an unauthentic life, not really enjoying wearing a G-string and makeup on every day. And I went to search. I went and searched for answers because I thought to myself, why if I'd achieved all this stuff, why wouldn't I be happy? It was not that I was depressed or anything, but something was missing. And I literally searched. I traveled all over the place. I kept journals. I was searching. Um, I ended up uh, traveling through five different countries, studying different mythologies, different religion, I stayed in, 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 in Zen uh, ashrams, um, spiritual ashrams, under beautiful teachers. And I was on search to know what is our purpose in life. And really, this is what the retreat is all about. And as a direct result of my searching, I discovered the ultimate nirvana which I'm going to share with you. Love is all you need. It might come across a little bit brochureish when I say that, but there is so much beauty in this. A lot of times we think by default we're unhappy, and so we have to externally do something to make us happy. But it can be so far from the truth, but because in my humble opinion and in my, in my journey in life, I have discovered it's actually the truth is, by default, we are actually happy. And it's not a matter of finding that happiness outside of us. And this is a very, very powerful teaching. And this is why so many people that come onto this retreat um, literally share with us that this retreat changes their lives. And I hope it does for you too. And I hope this webinar gives you a glimpse of why that is actually happening. So today I have the freedom to create the exact life I want to live, making a ripple effect of love and inspiring others to live into their greatness. That is what I do. This is what makes my soul smile. And that is why the retreats were created. Here you can see my whole life changed. I started, I started um, my spiritual journey. And um, another thing that I'm going to point towards uh, in my teachings is that when we recognize that we are actually spiritual beings living a human experience, not a human experience having living a spiritual experience. There's a big difference. And um, this is what my journey started on. I started realizing that I was more than just my mind and my body and, and my achievements or my non-achievements. Um, and here is a couple of things I want to share with you that um, I believe that being my work, and it's one of the reasons why I created this retreat, so I could stay on purpose. Um, there's no use me sitting and teaching and sharing with you to do this and do that if I'm not doing it myself. So every year I do an adventure. Here's just one of them. I decided to swim from Robben Island in Cape Town uh, to Cape Town. Um, this was a, it was, it's one of the toughest mental swims in the, in, in the world. Uh, freezing cold water over sharks and um, one of the teachings I share with you you can still be in action detached from your thinking and feeling so in freezing cold water where you think you're going to get hypothermia where you think a shark is going to eat you where you think the distance is too far this swim was 8.5 kilometers in nine degrees water so I want to share with you that I literally practice this work and um these are one of the things I do. Another thing is I, 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 I teach, coach, and I do motivational teachings across the world. 
uh, one of my talk show business motivational talks, what if love is the new currency? You are also in good company. Uh, this work I've done all over the world. You can see a couple of the, uh, the big companies across the world that I work for. Um, and then finally, this is uh, if you go onto our retreats, um, our retreat page, uh, smilingsoulretreats.com. This is our new website. Uh, we've just launched it a couple of months, months away. I'm very proud of our product. Our team is very proud of our product. We think we are very unique. And uh, we are all very excited and, and have been for some time. Um, we have been doing retreats now for five years and um, things have changed. He has a different twist. You can see from the magazines that I used to be on to the magazines that I'm on currently now. Uh, it brings me much joy to be in purpose, literally making a difference in, in, in the world versus just making a difference in my life. That's when a lot of things changes and providence started bending in my, in my favor in life. It's so beautiful. You know, I always say when you're about God's work or any part of it, God by his very nature is for you. And uh, please don't get stuck on the word of God either. Um, it's, an, it's, it's an interesting insight that I share with you on the retreats. So here we go. I'm going to share with you section two here. Highlights of the Bali Smiling Soul Retreat and why it rocks. I'm going to be sharing with you the benefits and the outcomes today. Okay, so before we start, let's let's do another poll that I want to share with you. Um, thanks for your interaction uh, earlier. Um, so, which of the following prophets would most appeal to you as the main motivator for attending a Smiling Soul Retreat? So, as you'll see, once again, all the options will pop up. Please press which one speaks to you. The first one, have a break from life, work, family, and go and have some fun. The second one, find purpose and renewed focus in life. Uh, third one, find joy and love in my heart. Number four, explore Bali through a safe and inspiring means. And the final one, number five, get over heartbreak or let go of internal conflicts. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, let's see which is the most popular. Have a break from life, work and family. Have some fun. 65%. Uh, find purpose, 44%. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Getting over heartbreak, 36%. And explore Bali through a safe and inspiring means, 27%. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Um, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's nice when you those polls sort of enroll you and uh, revalidate why you're actually looking for a retreat and, and, and what your purpose is, what you want to get out of the retreat. And so here I want to share with you, I designed the flagship Bali retreat for the intention of creating the perfect conditions and experiences. You know, I always say, if you become a product of your environment, and if I take an orange seed and I put it in Iceland, it's not going to grow. But if I take that, that orange seed and I put it in Tahiti on the, equator, on the equator with perfect conditions, I can literally sit back, have a beer, and, uh, and the, the, the seed will grow by itself. The metaphor for this is creating the perfect conditions on this retreat so that you will flourish. And so that is what we've done. Um, this Tahiti would shift you into a, a space of pure love and assist you in mastering the seven miracles that I teach. This seeing will last a lifetime. That is what I'm pointing towards. The getting of the teachings on this retreat are not just something that comes and goes. You organically get the teachings and it lasts forever. Einstein says once your, your consciousness has expanded, it can never go back to its original size. And this is uh, the feedback that I am getting from my participants and have for the last five years. So I know this. Great things are not done by impulse, but a series of small things brought together with passion. Van Gogh. All right. So there's the feeling. Uh, I want to share with you. Just a couple of points here. How will the Bali retreat make your soul smile? Well, firstly, the first thing I want to share with you is that you will create a love relationship with yourself and others. You, this might be the first time that you actually introduce yourself to yourself. 
this is very possible. I only discovered my truth and, 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 and who I really was at the age of 34. Um, Long-term satisfaction through living a balanced life, which keeps you inspired, energized, and, re and revitalized. I always say, uh, without balance in your life, you literally, you lose power. And so this is one of the things that I am going to concentrate on the retreats to help you create that masterpiece, that beautiful life that is that is literally built on balance. A fresh approach to starting each day with intentions as your guiding principle. You will see I'm going to, on the retreat, I introduce you to one of the most amazing things that I've created in my life. And it's a manifestation diary. So I'm going to share with you how to use it, how to activate it in your life so that you are living an optimal life with an optimal mind, an optimal body and living, uh, living into a life that makes your soul smile. All right. Fun, motivated life's masterpiece with a clear roadmap of how to get there. I always say on the retreat, by the time you finish the retreat and you leave, you will have a roadmap of exactly the life that you want to lead. And, and that life will be chosen by you. It's not what I tell you to do. I'm going to make you discover it and create that so that when you leave, you're literally living into the life that you have created. All right, so clarity, peace, and focus to bring dreams to fruition through, uh, through your own commitment powered by your word. <clears throat> there is such a powerful, powerful teaching on our retreats with regard to being your word versus your thinking and feeling. Uh, I just touched on that with that swim. If, if I was stuck in my head about my thinking and feeling, oh my gosh, I, I doubt it. 95% of the people that stop on their swim stop in the first one kilometer. Because their head takes over, their body takes over, and they start reacting to that. And that's one of the gorgeous things on this retreat. I teach you to still be in action, detached from that thinking and feeling. Gratitude for each moment of being alive with the ability to step 20% out of your comfort zone. Well, I don't know if you've ever been told, but gratitude is the highest vibration and the best vibration that you can be in to manifest a life. When you come from lack, you attract lack in your life. And when you are coming from abundance, from gratitude, you attract who you're being. And it, it's, it's one of the things that I teach uh, on, on the retreat of how to use your subconscious mind. How to take um, your subconscious mind and let that work for you day and night while you're even sleeping, attracting providence in your life. The final one here, a first-hand realization and encounter with the gift you yourself are and which is seeking to be known. What if everything you are seeking for in life is seeking you? What if I told you that the dream and ideal person of who you want to be is already seated in you? You are this already. And um, it's not a matter of becoming or doing something or achieving this or doing something externally to find this, to discover this beautiful you. You are it already. And that's what makes me so excited um, about hosting, this re hosting these retreats. When you see people discovering themselves, how beautiful they are already. There's so much pain that disappears, so much anxiety so much needing to think that if I don't achieve this, well, then I'll only be happy. All that stuff just falls away and you're present in the moment of this beautiful being that you are already. That is one of the, the ultimate successes that you will discover on these retreats. So I want to share with you about our Bali retreat. So this is an 11 day retreat. We spend day one to four in a boot. Um, those of you that have watched Eat, Pray and Love or read the book, um, a lot of it was filmed right there in the heart of it. But we, ex we, we spend time there. The next four, four, day four and five, we, we stay in, in the forest, um, the volcano forest, just incredible waterfalls. I'll get through that a little bit later. I'll talk into these destinations and what we do into them a little bit further down in, in the webinar. Then day five to nine, we visit Pumuterang. Pumuterang is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to in my life. I always call it like the soft Hawaii. Um, and then finally, we end up in Changu. Now, Changu is like the surf capital, one of the surf capitals of the world. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. Such a freeing place. Such a such a 
such a, a beautiful, safe place to let your mind go and just enjoy. At this stage of the retreat, you have discovered how beautiful you are already. And it's time really to celebrate that. So here's just a collage and uh, of a of couple of the things that we do that I want to share with you. So number one, discover the Balinese culture by a bicycle ride through the rice fields and between the quaint cobblestone villages. Uh, roam the streets of Abut, the eat, pray and love capital, packed with markets, fragrance, temples and beautiful people. In actual fact, Abut is one of is renowned for its healing. People flock from all over the world to heal themselves. There's so many um, uh, spiritual gurus in, in, in Ubud. There's so much, so much joy that you'll get from your self-development. Um, we also, you get a chance to um, uh, have a one-on-one -on -one session with the Bolognese uh, healer, Sarkic. Um, after Ubud, we leave to, as I was showing you, the, vol the volcanoes, um, well, we share the, the and we and we go and experience these unbelievable waterfalls. Um, I, I love waterfalls, and I must admit that Bali offers one of the best in the world. So we're going to have a beautiful time in the waterfalls. Uh, we take a beautiful hike through the forest. We they, get, they teach us about all the plants and um, and how how they're so good and beneficial for you. Uh, a lot of the plant medicines come from there. Um, then we go, we move from uh, the forests and the waterfalls and we go to what I was sharing with you is one of the most beautiful places in the world and that is Pemutering. Uh, we have a snorkeling excursion in the beautiful coral reefs in Indonesia. Uh, we go to the island and we get time to get out of our comfort zone. I always say that 20% out of your comfort zone is where the joy starts in your life. And until you haven't been showed that, you wouldn't know this. And uh, this is one of the things on the retreat. It's 20% out of your comfort zone. It's a self-development. It's full of activities, a lot of time off, beautiful teachings. And so one of the highlights in, in uh, Pemutarang is not just getting your feet rubbed every day. There's massages. There's spas there. It's the beautiful beaches. It's the snorkeling. Um, you can literally walk out of your room 50 meters, take your, take your flippers and start snorkeling in crystal clear water. And under the water is this hidden sacred city where you're literally snorkeling above it and, and you'll see all these tropical fish. Uh, it's just absolutely to die for. Uh, once we are finished there on, on, our, on, our, on our days in Pemutarang, we end up in Changu. As I was sharing with you, Changu is really a place to let go. Time to celebrate um, your new year. We go to a beautiful beach club there uh, where we go as a group and we celebrate and we have such, such a good time. So this retreat is about fun, activities, spirituality and so much more. All right. So what does the retreat include? The best of Bali or Bhut. The Volcano Forest, Pemutarang, and Changu. As I shared with you, you're going to come back and you've had experienced the whole of Bali. Not just one specific place. This is what I wanted to do when I created these retreats. Based on my own journey through Bali, discover love over 11 days on the island of God that completely embodies what I teach. All the retreats that we do do, we always are very specific in terms of the culture that we, that we talk into. And um, Bali lends right into that. The people there are full of love. So my message really gets, uh, gets transferred organically uh, by the people. A lot of times you will have big breakthroughs, not just from the teachings, but the participants and the culture and the people that are with us on the retreats. Inclusive to all studying, stunning accommodation and land travel, all your meals, all adventure activities and comprehensive retreat facilitations. You will see on the testimonials how people say, Brett, how do you even afford this? Everything is included on this retreat. So this is one of the things that I wanted to do. We want to make your soul smile. Teaching Q&A of seven sacred miracles to create your, your soul smiling masterpiece and live the life you love. Daily check-in sheet, workbook, schedule for your journeys, highlights. You're going to see a little bit further. I'm going to share with you. Our marketing departments have created. You have a workbook throughout the retreat. Okay, so your itinerary, what time we're starting, where are we going, where the teachings are. And you're literally guided by this workbook. 
um, that has so many different things um, that I'm going to share with you on the retreat. Okay, so let's address the important questions on this retreat. What is the purpose of the retreats? What do they stand for? And what is it that we facilitate on the retreats? Well, the teachings are the essence of what I discovered in my life. And it's the essence of changing your life too. And so I'm just going to touch on to them. One is intention. One of the seven miracles is intention. What is the difference between an intention versus goals? A lot of us are chasing goals after goals and after goals. And once we get there, we feel we're going to start all over again. It's like this balloon. We've left the party and, and the party's over. When you have an intention for life, that's when you feel your real power. Once you know what your intention is, and you will discover it on this retreat, a, 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 lot, of, a lot of my teachings, um, I, you go away and I make you do these activities and I give you teachings to go away and discover what your intention looks like. Finally, once you have an intention, you want to know how to get there. And so our, our fundamental masterpiece, our miracle masterpiece is how do I actually achieve this intention? That is one of the greatest breakthroughs that you are going to have. And I told you that you're going to walk away after the retreat with an absolute masterpiece of how to get to this beautiful life that you are going to create on the retreat. The next two miracles, gratitude and balance. I want to share with you, these seem like very brochureish words, but the power of integrating gratitude and balance into your life is one of the most essential things that human beings should be experiencing. I literally shared with you the vibration energy of gratitude is the highest form that you can use to manifest abundance in your life. Once you have, once you have built in gratitude and balance into your masterpiece, we move on to integrity. Have, has anybody ever shared with you that when you build your life detached from your thinking and feeling, all right, that you all you have to do is create your life by your word. Being integrity for your word is one of the most powerful things. Because if you are being your word, the universe knows what you want in your life. It can knock on your doorstep. Uh, your being your word is an energy. And when you clear about what that looks like and you are an integrity to that word, well, that is when providence starts bending in your favor. The magic starts happening in your life. And then uh, humor. <clears throat> you probably saying, Brett, how can humor be one of the miracles? Um, that seems so sort of weak. I want to share with you that when you stop taking yourself and life so seriously, you will discover this natural joy, this natural childlike energy comes out of you. And um, when you start taking uh, challenges in your life, and or you start losing things and things don't work out for you. When you can view it from, from these eyes of humor, so much relief comes from you. The anxiety drops away. It melts away. And uh, obviously, I'll get deeper on that on a consciousness thing where how humor ties up to consciousness as well. And then finally, love. Remember the first time you fell in love at school. I remember the first time I fell in love. People could bump me, pour water over me. It didn't happen. I had this giddy feeling. I was so in love with life. Can you imagine if you fell in, fell in love with yourself and life for the rest of your time on this planet? Well, that is my intention. That is my responsibility. And that is what I stand for, for teaching you in, in, on this retreat. So that is a basic cover of, of the seven miracles that I'm going to teach. They all tie up. And um, the teachings happen every second day for an hour. So you have a lot of time over, but you will want to integrate these teachings. I have integration exercises in between the retreats that will give you so much value. All right, here's a collage I shared with you on that front picture that we started on. Bali to me is just like this rainbow, an explosion of colors, an explosion of just this beauty. They call it the, the island of God. There's a reason why they do that. So you'll see throughout this webinar, these are live pictures. These are pictures of our past participants. Um, you can see the setup with regard to the teachings. And um, so let me move on. How is the retreat structured? Obviously, this is important for you to know. What does a typical day entail? 
Well, you, when I mentioned earlier that your workbook, here is our workbook, right? And in your workbook, you will be guided throughout the retreats, exactly what your day is going to look like. You're not living, waking up in the morning and thinking, oh, what are we going to do today, etc., etc. You literally have a forecast of the whole retreat, when we're doing activities, what the teachings are like. When you're off, you might want to go and visit the market and go and buy, you know, your children some gifts or, or, or go to a spa and pamper yourself. Um, so a typical day is we have a light teaching, um, you might have an activity on the day, and then you have time off. Uh, I believe in balance on this retreat. I don't want you to be chasing your tail around the retreat. So we have catered for that. We want you to have a good time. Why Bali? What are the destinations and why were they chosen? Well, remember what I shared to you just now. We chose, we choose countries that speak into the teachings. And I have found that the Bali culture, uh, most, most of the Balinese are, are Hindu. And um, we, there's a big foreign influence. So Australia is nearby. So as much as you think it's a third world country, they have a lot of first world things that are happening in, in Bali. Let me just give you an example. For example, uh, Wi-Fi. Wherever I went, there was Wi-Fi in the island. And um, here's a, a map of Bali. And uh, you can see the island is not that big. From one side to the other, you take a drive. It's three hours to cross the island. So it's really nice and condensed. You get to see a lot of things. There's a beautiful picture. We do a, a lovely sunset cruise, uh, Bolognese dancing. We visit uh, this beautiful um, coffee plantation where you can have a sip of the most expensive coffee. It's literally um, this animal that's, that poos out these coffee beans. Who would have thought that poo coffee would be the most expensive coffee? But people really uh, go there and test this out. And uh, I must tell you, it is delicious. Uh, okay, and let me move on. So here's our, our four destinations. Ubud, the Volcano Forest, Pamutarang Bay, and Changu. That will be the overall journey that you are going to be taking on the Bolognese, uh, on, on, our, on our retreat in Bali. All right, what are the participants like and how big are the groups? Will I fit in? I feel I'm too old, young, unfit, not ready. When I designed this retreat, I wanted to cater for every single person. So here's a collage. You can get a feel of the people that come on here. Different levels of fitness, different cultures, different races, different background. There is nothing we have never experienced um, a culture or um, a certain religion or anything that has never been on this retreat. And the most beautiful thing is, is that when you spend time on this retreat with all these different people, you literally see how all that stuff just falls away and how you connect with someone beyond their body, beyond who they are and beyond where they come from and beyond what their past is. The love that connection on these retreats, I must say, a lot of people have made best friends. And um, so, I don't want you to worry what age you are, how unfit you are, how fit you are, will I fit in? We cater for every single type of person. What can I expect in terms of accommodation, food and activities? This is something that everybody wants to know. I want to share with you, I, I know we, we also host retreats in India and people say, oh, we're going to you know, live in these shacks next to the thing. We want you to have a good time. So my team and I uh, literally travel throughout Bali to choose the best destinations, the best holidays so that you can have time to literally make your soul smile. Here's just a picture of some of some of the places that we stay. Look how gorgeous that is. Look at that, that, that yoga studio overlooking the canyon there. Um, so the hotels that we stay at are absolutely world class. Here's some more. This is Pumuterang, that soft Hawaii place I was telling you about, where you're literally 100 meters from your room and you can be snorkeling in the bay. Um, <clears throat> it's just so lush and bali. That's the one thing that I love about it. Um, and, and, and it makes you just have the most beautiful, beautiful holiday. Here's Changu. This is the hotel we end off with where you let your hair down. Here we actually have um, uh, this secret sunrise, this, this silent disco we end off the retreat doing. Um, we actually do it around the pool here. This pool overlooks the whole Changu Sea. And so 
I hope you got a glimpse there of the of the beautiful places that we stay. Let's move on to the food. Oh, the food in Bali is like an explosion of your senses in your mouth. Um, this is one of the highlights for many a people that come on the retreats is the food. Um, I want you to know while I'm on this subject, we do cater for your food needs. So I don't want you to worry about that. Um, the food is delicious throughout. We've tested the restaurant so that they're clean and so that the, the food is fresh. And you don't really have to worry about that in Bali because they always use fresh food. And this is the one thing that I shared with you with the love that they have for, for what they do and the culture that they are. They, they bless their food. They make sure it's fresh every day. Here's another collage of stuff. I told you we do a cycling trip like uh, the Eat, Pray and Love through the rice fields. We go and visit the volcano. Um, <clears throat> we have, we have cruise, uh, we cruise on, on a boat. We watch the sunsets. Um, and just there's the culture of the people. It's just unbelievable. So get ready because that is one of the highlights is the diverse places that we take you throughout uh, the island. Okay. What has been the experience of previous participants? Well, yes, the proof is in the pudding, obviously. Um, so I didn't realize I was asleep. It's amazing how the universe works, Kim. I had such a beautiful time with this lady. I know Kim came on, on, on the retreat in so much pain and, and so much unsurety about her direction. And, and she just popped. It was so beautiful. And uh, yeah, Kim, I acknowledge you. Here's uh, Peter. I was, uh, I was very uh, skeptical at, in the beginning. Everything ended up being unbelievable. Um, so we have a nice mix of men and women coming on the retreats as well. Um, Peter was a lot of fun, but I want to share with you, there is hundreds of testimonials. So I want you to go, if, 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 if you want to delve into more of the testimonials and see what people are saying about the food, the culture, the island, the teachings, please visit our website on www.smilingsoulretreats.com and you will see our testimonial section there. All right. I am considering another retreat along similar lines. What sets the Smiling Soul Retreat apart from the rest? This is a very um, good question. And I'm proud to share with you what it does. So number one, a structured program of awesome activities. A lot of these retreats just focus on the spirituality, get very stuck in the thickness of, of being spiritual. I wanted to make the retreat a demographic that I wanted to go on. I wanted to have fun and activities, not too much teachings, but enough to change someone's life. Um, and, you know, this is one of the beautiful things that our team gets so excited about is that we are very, very unique about that. We believe in fun. We believe in activities. We want to train. We want to travel right around the island. And uh, the same as when we do it in India, we travel across India. The next thing is our unique, powerful, practical teachings. I always say that if I give you a manual of how to ride a bicycle, you can study the manual and get 100% for the test. But riding the bicycle is a whole different ball game. There's, there's direction, there's balance. And so what we do is with these practical teachings, there is a frame program where I literally let you become the teaching in the frame program. Our frame program is one of our activities. So it's a matter of the caterpillar turning into the butterfly. Um, best Bali destinations and attractions. I have I've covered that, as I said, shared with you, from the bicycle rides to the snorkeling, to the waterfalls, to the eat, pray and love a to Changu, the surf, the, the surf destination. Uh, where you literally have a safe place to let your, let, your, let your hair down. A support system and becoming part of our Smiling Soul community. This is one of the things that I find so precious on our retreats. You know, a lot of times um, in our retreats, people after the retreat, they normally meet up afterwards. I, I know uh, a lot of our South African people that come in the retreat meet sort of every Thursday at a, at, at a restaurant and they're there as friends, as, as they're there to help each other and we stay in contact. It's just unbelievable um, how the beautiful love and connection that you make on these retreats. 
So we have a Smiling Soul community uh, that is part of you forever. People are still, I shared with you, been doing retreats for five years. We still have such a tight-knit community that are there from love and want to support you in, every, in anything that you're, that you're doing in your life. And then finally, your world-class host, which is me. Um, so these are just some of the things that make us very unique about our retreats, different to other people. Will I receive assistance in my travel preparations and planning? After booking for your retreat, I'm afraid of traveling on my own. This is a really, this is a relevant question for you. Um, I want to share with you, the minute you decide that you are coming on this retreat, we have the most incredible team. They will be in contact and literally we hold your hand from the minute you sign up until you go back home. Everything that you need to know about the retreats, we will guide you. We will help you. We will point you in the right direction. Um, traveling by, by yourself, I'm sure this is a question that many people ask. I want to share with you on this point is that so many people, when they jump out of their comfort zone, they discover how beautiful it is to be brave, to be courageous. And uh, before you know it, within the first two days, this retreat is just like glue. A family is created um, in so many beautiful ways. So I invite you not to be afraid. The gold dust is on the other side of fear. All right, here's our retreat angels. Um, you can see uh, Rapali there that I uh, have my arm around. Rapali is like a soul system, sister with me. She, she has been on every single retreat um, that I've been on in, in, in all the different countries. And so Rapali ends up being like the, the, the nugget. She is, she's the angel of the retreat. Um, so she ends up being like the highlight of the retreat because she's so lovable. Her smile, they even call her Rapati because at the end of the retreat, she sort of, you know, she lets go and she really makes sure that people have a lot of fun. On the right um, is, is Jared. <clears throat> Well, uh, Jared, I always, I, I've, I've always shared he's one of the most cutest uh, human beings on, the, on, on this planet. Jared is there. He's one of our assistants. But another beautiful thing that Jared offers on our retreats is that he films the retreat. On his drone, he films and he creates a documentary of the whole retreat. He takes these beautiful pictures uh, so that you have, um, you're able to get from him and it lasts you a lifetime. So, all three of us uh, have been through challenges in our lives and, and we, we just, this work has taken us to another place. And so we understand where you are. You know, no one comes on this, on this retreat because they have everything together. They come on the retreat, a lot of people, because they have broken wings. We get that and we want you to win. So you in very, very, very good hands, loving hands on this retreat. Okay. A few other important questions we be, we get asked. Um, I asked my team to integrate this into the webinar because um, these are these are questions that come up. What is the weather like in Bali um, for the different retreat dates throughout the year? I want to share with you. I must I must be quite frank with you here. A couple of years ago, I kicked my toe because um, we did it. We did retreats in India where the, where the weather wasn't working out for us. It was the end of a monsoon season. And so through time and experience, we have developed the perfect dates for the perfect weather. So that I don't want you to worry about. As I shared with you, we want you to have a good time. So we've taken this all into consideration. I see that the package price is on a sharing basis. Does this mean I must bring someone with? What if I want my own room? Yes, it is on a sharing basis. But what I want to share with you is this, is that there so many times the universe is working with you and you get paired up with somebody that you might think, oh, am I, is it going to work out? So many times the universe has put that individual with you for a reason. And does it mean I must bring someone with? No, it doesn't. But of course it will be beautiful. If you bring a friend with, we will partner you in the room with your friend. Um... What if I want my own room? Of course we cater for that too. You will pay a little bit extra, but you will get your own room. You won't be far away from our clients. Um, even the single rooms are right next to each other. So you're not going to miss any of the magic and the joy and the, and the vibrancy that happens in our group. 
Do I need to take part in the motivational sessions, the Q&A sessions, and the other activities which are part of the retreat facilitation context? Can I just come along for the ride and skip some sessions? One of the things that makes us so unique is that when I, when I develop this retreat, I say to people, we are all adults coming on this retreat. There are no rules. You come on this retreat, whatever you want to miss, if you don't feel like doing an activity because you, you're having these beautiful breakthroughs and you want to sleep in the morning, you are more than welcome. I want to share with you though, in all my years doing these retreats, I have had one participant miss a motivational session. And that is because they were sick and they literally, it, they battled to get out of bed. But I want to share with you that you are free on this retreat. This is your retreat. We want you to have a good time. Okay. When ego is lost, limit is lost. You become infinite, kind, and beautiful. How true is that? Right, so let me move on to the special offer that we have on this webinar. I shared with you that if you stay on this webinar, we are going to be offering you a beautiful gift for the Bali Smiling Soul Retreat. And this is only for the webinar attendees. You can't get this special on our website. So have a look at this. Look at what I have for you. The 11-day Bali, Bali Smiling Soul Retreat is in itself valued at over $5,000 per participant. This is exclusive to international flights, so you will get yourself to Bali. From there, you will be taken care of. My teachings and hosting of each retreat is valued at $12,000. What does that look like? The total value is worth $17,000 per person. But I shared with you that we will have a gift. However, your total investment for the Bali Smiling Soul Retreat to change your life in 10 days is just $2,400. Look at that. That's the feeling you should be having now. I'm very excited. But wait, there is more. To secure your spot, you only need to put down a deposit of $500. If you pay this within 7 days after watching this webinar, you will receive an additional 10% off. How cool is that? Which means your total investment is just $2,160 on payments of your deposit within seven days. Note that this will automatically convert to your currency on this checkout. So my South African friends, you will see it will pop up in rands. One more surprise for you, my South African attendees, you have the option to fully finance the retreat. So if you're having any challenges with finances, we have offered this beautiful opportunity to finance your retreat over one to two years through our finance partners, Infin. If you're worried about losing the special, don't worry. If you put your application in on our website within seven days, you still qualify for the special. So congratulations, those of you that are in <clears throat> your coupon code to receive the webinar discount has just been emailed to you. So go to your emails, get that coupon. Booking is completed through the Book Now page on our website. I've put our website down there. You can see there, smilingsoulcreations.com. All you need to do is just click alongside to go there now. You can click here. You can go there now. Remember your email. Your coupon has been emailed to you. You go onto the website. You put in your coupon and you qualify for your discount. But you will see also... Um, there will be a tab popping up now. Click on the booking process. So you can literally jump now. So you don't even have to wait for the seven days to expire. You can book right now. During, re -check during the re checkout, you will be provided the opportunity to add your coupon code and receive the discount within seven day window period. So you're not going to lose it. You have got seven days. If you need to go and speak to your husband about this or your partner, you have seven days to come in this retreat. I am so excited for you. And those of you that are on the fence, what is stopping you from making this fantastic decision for your life today? We typically sell out months in advance, so do not waste another minute. If this has spoken to you, this retreat, and it's making your soul smile, and you feel that you want to join me on this retreat and our beautiful support team, jump now. This is your opportunity. Furthermore, if there's anything that I might not have covered on this retreat, 
I have gone ahead and included our, our, our info uh, email address here. So info at smilingsoulcreations.com. Our team is waiting for you. We'd love to take your call. And if there's anything that I haven't covered on here, pick up the phone, email us, whatever it is, get in touch with us, and we will be happy to take your calls. Okay. Before you go, however, remember I said there's questions at the end of the webinar as well. But before you go, I did promise you that special bonus. Your bonus giveaway today is the Wisdom Notes. A one page per fundamental for you to print out and put on your wall and read daily. I want to share with you that this is one of the golden, beautiful uh, fundamentals that I teach. And so this is an overview of them. This will already get you into action. I must say, it will already help you. Remember what I shared with you in the beginning of the retreat? If you are having struggles, these wisdom notes will already start shifting you in the right direction. Okay, so I'm very honored and privileged to hand over these wisdom notes to you. Congratulations for being on this retreat. Congratulations for putting the time out now uh, to come and discover what this retreat is all about. Okay, so finally, what I want to do is I want to open for questions. All right, so... <clears throat> What happens if I can't make my scheduled retreat dates? Thank you. Please interact with you. Write down these questions. One's popped up immediately. So let me just repeat that. What happens if I can't make my selected retreat dates? Well, we do cater for that. All right. Your, de your deposit will get transferred to the next retreat that you want to go on if for whatever reason you can't make it. All you need to do, however, is let us know six weeks prior to the, the retreat that you book for starts so that we can shift you on to another retreat. So I don't want you to worry about that. You might say, this is so cool. I'm going to book anyway. I don't even have a date. No problem. We will support you with that. <clears throat> Should I come on my own or bring my husband? <clears throat> well, <laughs> this is really up to you. Jackie, this is really up to you. This is a good question. It does come up often. It depends what it is that you want to take out for from this retreat. What is your intention on your retreat? You know, a lot of times uh, relationships are built stronger on these retreats. So I, I, I highly advise you, if your relationship is in flow, bring your partner. If you want to take a step back from your relationship so you can view it and, and just have a bit of space from it, well, then obviously you come by yourself. But we welcome partners. We have so many partners on the retreat. In actual fact, half of our retreat participants is partners and the other are single people or traveling by themselves. All right. Kenneth, <clears throat> are the age restrictions, can I bring my kids along? A good question, Kenneth. Thank you for that. What we do say is, <clears throat> if, you are, if you are comfortable with your kids coming on, and they are in their teenage years, so we don't accept kids that are obviously 12 and under because we need to respect the other participants, but if you're comfortable with your teenagers uh, coming on the retreats, um, <clears throat> we are more than open to that. Please uh, reach out to us. Uh, let's start chatting about that. But we most certainly do welcome kids on the retreat. All right, let's see some more questions, ladies and gentlemen. Kathy, do you cater for food preferences? Yes, Kathy, you heard earlier on, I shared with you that, um, that we do. <clears throat> so sometimes we have vegetarians on the retreat. So we cater for that. What we do is, is once you've enrolled on to retreat, uh, you, you get, um, uh, once you've uploaded onto a website and you're booking, you will see that there's a questionnaire there of, of, of all your likes and, and we literally pair people up and we cater for food. And so we do a survey of all the people coming on the retreat and we place them with the right people. As far as the food is concerned, yes, we cater for different food types. Okay. Nicole, I am a smoker. How do you cater for this? Well, Nicole, I've just <clears throat> really sort of answered for that as well. When you go into our website and you book, um, what we do is we get, we obviously get feedback from all our participants, whether they're smokers or not. And, um, we obviously pair smokers with smokers. Okay. And those of you that don't smoke, obviously we try and pair you with non-smokers as well. 
So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, namaste. Thank you for this beautiful session today. Um, I hope you got to know me a little bit better. Um, you can see I'm very enthusiastic. I don't want to excuse myself for being enthusiastic, but this is the way I teach and this is the fun on the retreats. Um, okay. <clears throat> Um, and uh, please, if there isn't questions that I uh, might have answered or you, it might come up for you later on today or tomorrow, please email us on info at smilingsoulcreations.com and we'll get back to you uh, within a short period of time. Okay, so, namaste. I cannot wait. I'm so excited to see you. Join us on our retreats in Bali. Um, come and have the time of your life and make your soul smile. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.